from Takaishi Nishi, but this was not a day for Japan today. One refusal, three penalty points, but he came back another time, refused one more time, elimination. Those are the rules, very simple in the sport of Grand Prix show jumping, Bill. So off he goes and up comes Timmy, Timmy Grubb. Oh yes, this is a, we love Linky. Linky's a nice horse. He's been training in the United States. Timmy lives here most of the year because he's married to a former American show jumper, Michelle McAvoy. And he shows on the Florida circuit and on the East Coast. Uh, his training has been very good because with this nice horse, he was able to jump a clear round in the Nations Cup. He had eight and a quarter falls over the first course today. And he's in the hunt, really. To, well, that hurts a little bit. Uh, that big oxer has to be approached absolutely perfectly or the horses can't jump it. We haven't, in fact, had a clear round yet over course B, although I think the riders walking course B felt it didn't present quite as sophisticated challenges as the course A that Bertolon de Namity had created. First round this morning, course A. Now the second round. You see why I like him so much, Chris? Oh, sure. He really is a nice horse. And he's got a wonderful attitude. They fit well together. Timmy Grubb of Great Britain. Eight and a quarter. The first round. Now he has one knockdown. Rubs or touches do not count, remember. Ten obstacles, 13 jumping efforts, optimum time, 80 seconds. In the event of a tie for any of the three medals, at the end of this all, there will be a jump off. Time jump off. Water clear. Now the double at the end. Oh, just knocks the rail off, Bill, and that's eight. Make it nine because of time penalties. And it's a total of nine plus eight and a quarter, 17 and a quarter for Timmy Grubb. We have about 12 more riders to go, and we get to the good ones. Those even without faults this morning. We'll be back after this. Riders left. France, 30-year-old Frederic Cotier, Flambeau Say, a 13-year-old Chestnut Gelding, French bred, coming in with eight penalty points. In the hunt. In the hunt. This is a very clean jumper, a very, very beautiful horse. Was already a member of the 1982 World Championship team, so you know that Flambeau Say with Frederic Cotier is no slouch. Remember, we have a tie after the first round between Joe Farges of the United States, Michael Whitaker. Clear rounds, then five tied with only one knockdown earlier today. Good start for Flambeau Say. We had a water jump problem in the morning, and the water is in the same afternoon course. I wonder if anything will change. Now, the Beverly Hills Oxer. Biggest problem thus far? A little bit about it. It's a very big fence. And that's the one you described on your course walk, Bill, and showed us the spread and the height. Well, I was would like to have gotten right in the middle of it, actually, but I would have disappeared if you tried to look for me with a camera, Chris. It's a very big oxer. Not as big as the one we had at Mexico in 1968, but it's still big enough. Look at what a nice horse this is, though. You see how he comes through the three combination, which is also not small, and makes it look easy. Only four penalty points now for Frederic Cotier of France coming in with eight. A total of 12 now at number seven. Now turning toward the wall and then the water jump that Bill was talking about. Will he jump the water this time? Yes, well clear of it this time. Oh, boy. Beautiful, only the second round with nine riders to go that have done it with one knockdown. Frederick Cartier and heavy hitters are coming up here at Santa Anita and we'll be back for them. Longtime partner is Deister, the 13-year-old gelding. Oh, there's the first fence down, four balls. Just sat on that rail a little bit. This is a wonderful combination of horse and rider. Twice European champion, three times winner of the Grand Prix of Aachen. But I think that Paul thought coming to Los Angeles that this was going to be his year for an Olympic gold. Sadly, it's not to be. His brother Alvin winning the gold at Montreal. We were there to cover it in those games. 76 over the water and clear there. So now, Bill, we have two riders with two rounds that have 12 falls.
Cedric Cotier, and Paul Shakamula. We'll be back after this. To a rider that this morning had only five and a quarter penalty points, Luis Estolfi of Spain. Chris, I would say this was the only real surprise of the morning round. Uh, Luis had not gone that well in the Nations Cup. He had no less than uh, 56 and a half faults in the Nations Cup, but he jumped an excellent round this morning. And he's in a position now to put some pressure on these big shots that follow because the real heavy hitters of our sport are to come last. Clean at the Beverly Hills Oxer. Now to the sailboat. We have five combinations that are tied at four. We have two riders, Joe Fargis and Michael Whitaker, who this morning had clear rounds. The only two out of a field of 51. The best thus far, two rides of four penalty points. Oh boy, what a beautiful jump he made over the middle fence, but he had to reach a little bit too much for the last one and couldn't quite jump it. So it's four fault so far for Luis Astolfi. Spain has two riders going light. The United States has three riders going light. Switzerland has two going late, and Great Britain won. Two women in that group, Heidi Robiani and Melanie Smith. There at the water, final double. Oh, the last fence falls. He also has half a time fall, giving him a total of eight and a half for this round, and 13 and three quarters overall. We'll be back. Round final, the second round, and with His Excellency Juan Antonio Samaranch, President of the International Olympic Committee, watching here at Santa Anita Park, here is 37-year-old Luis Alvarez Cervera. He had a good morning, only four and a quarter points, Bill. Had a very, very long and a very, very good career in show jumping. He goes way back into my era. He's been six times his national champion, the first time in 1967, so he's no beginner in this sport. Let's see if he can jump this bogey oxer. Almost. He jumped it in front, Chris, but the hind end just dragged a little bit and took it down. Slight breather at four, which is the sailboat, 10 fences. Actually, 13 jumping efforts with a double and a triple. Triple coming up, the double is at the very end. Shorter course than this morning. Shorter and a little bit bigger and maybe a little bit less complex, but it's been very, very difficult to jump without fall. We haven't had the first clear round yet, Chris. No. How long you Four at this point. Number seven. 80 seconds to get around the course. Luis had fractional time faults uh, in the first round, and maybe he will again. He's not going very rapidly. Water. Explosive at the beginning, now the double. All right, there's the third. One knockdown round here in the second. And at this point, we have only seven riders remaining. So the medal battle is about to begin. We'll be back. Right now, your body's thirsty for more than water. You're working your body till you can't do more. Gatorade is thirsty. So give your body what it's thirsty for. Gatorade is thirsty. 1952, in the field of 51, here is one of two women, Heidi Robiani of Switzerland, and she has a mare that Bill and I have fallen in love with. Her name is Jessica. Irish bred mare. We sure like to have her in our barn. Yes, in fact, Chris, uh, men and women have been competing together for decades, but it took a long time to convince the U.S. Olympic Committee, or the International Olympic Committee, I should say, that uh, it was all right for them to do so in the Olympic Games. Her Spence, top ten. She has only four penalty points. Morning round, along with four others, two with clear rounds. The Oxer. She asked for just an enormous jump. That was a little bit too far to stand back at an Oxer that big. And I must say that Jessica still almost made it. Irish bred Jessica. 
Heidi from Switzerland. Look at what she can do with oh, her legs. Oh, oh. oh, boy, do I love this mare. <laughs> I think she's just marvelous. There are a couple of more coming up, too, Bill, in this medal battle right now in the Grand Prix show jumping. There is no horse in this last bunch that doesn't have just a lot of class. When we say touch of class, who goes next to last, they all, all these horses have just class sticking out all over. the water now the double and the end so Heidi Robiani of Switzerland has delighted this capacity crowd starting on Tuesday in the team competition yes only one knockdown four to go along with the other four so as we say in golf she's the leader in the clubhouse that's right Chris. total of eight Heidi Robiani, 33 years old, and uh, the big cheer goes up for the other woman in this field. Here is Heidi and Jessica. This mare jumped this combination so fabulously. Look what she does in the air over the second fence. Heidi calls on her, and she looks as if she's jet propelled. It's a fantastic performance. And now the fans here in the arena are calling on Melanie Smith and Calypso so to do their very best four penalty points first round melanie with a clear round in team competition that helping her team to win the gold the first ever and now here she is bill the pressure is on melanie is a survivor of a good many pressure cookers Chris. she really is a marvelous rider under pressure because she doesn't let the pressure get to her she just goes out and does her thing and uh, her thing is plenty good enough it has been so good enough to win the world cup finals in 1982 she's had such a wonderful relationship with calypso not that she doesn't ride every other horse that she rides very well but this is a really remarkable combination of horse and rider they have such tremendous mutual confidence let's see how she fares today melanie said that calypso that 11 year old dutch bread is intelligent Lucky boy, a famous stallion. I hope this is his lucky day. Uh, just stick that big oxer on the way up. The cups are shallower than they used to be in the Olympic Games, so that horses will not run a risk of injury. Now that's a total of eight, which equals uh, Heidi Robiani, but Melanie's got a long way to go on this round. Canada, Mario Delaurier on Aramis, coming in with four penalty points. This is a real heavy hitter. A young man and a great big strong horse, and when he hits them, they go out of the park. You see, he jumped that oxer, and he jumped it without even grunting very hard. He's a fabulous horse. That's how he won the World Cup final this year. And only a seven-year-old, and the rider is only 19 years old from Bromont, where we had the competition for the 76 games. That's what they call high, wide, and handsome. We have two other riders to go next with four penalty points. That's what Mario had coming in. He is clear up to this point in the second round. Oh, and in the last moment, seven goes down, and it's four for Delaurier of Canada. He was maybe a little bit too casual about that bench, which hasn't come down often in this round. Still working on a good score, because eight's the best we've had so far. Four goals for a total of eight to tie Heidi Robiani. 
That's where it stands right now, two with eight. We have Cadrian Homefeld.